Hi you guys, what's going on? I am Philosophical, this is my channel. We are healing over here and I'm so glad that you guys are here. We healing unconventionally, but it's happening. And I always hope that uh, we're healing other people, right? I was just playing with the cards earlier, but this is just basically saying that somebody's playing damsel in distress again. I don't know, it was kind of like a boring message and I was just like fucking around, right? Uh, thank you so much for your support. Every time you think you had a bed, you see someone else's story and it's just like crazy, right? I feel the hunger. That can mean a lot of things, right? But if you'd like to donate to my channel, there's a link in the description box for PayPal or you can cash at me at philosophical369. Okay. Let's get into this, right? Archangel Michael, please protect me. And uh, those listening with your light and leave out any negative energy, okay, that could prevent me from receiving this message the way that I'm meant to, okay? I love you guys. Let's see what we got going on today, right? Hope you guys have a great morning or if it's nighttime. Uh, I hope you guys are just doing really well taking care of yourself. It's super important during these times that you take care of yourself and that you spend your money on things that you need to survive right now because we don't know what they're going to attempt to do, right? We don't know what uh, the powers that be are going to attempt to do to put us in sticky situations, but we all know that we signed up for it and we know that we're going to get through it because we're master survivalists. So just make sure you're spending your money and you're being smart uh, and, and whatever it is, it's either conducive to your spiritual path or eating healthy or stuff like that, right? Okay. What do we need to know, please? A guide. All right. So this is either uh, so this is either you represent the nature of the divine in yourself or somebody that places financial gain over parting spirit imparting spiritual insight. So this could be like the dichotomy between you and, and your ops here. Okay. I feel like there's some people here who are uh, still spending money on foolish things. I just saw the yes card. So I feel like there's still people who are spending money on things that they're going to regret uh, because we're not really sure what these times are going to bring us before this new earth starts, right? It's a process and it's going to be a slow process, but you know, let's see. Clarify guide, please. Clarify guide, please. What's this guide? Thank you. Yeah, I feel like this is like overspending. I feel like, uh, for, so for a lot of you, you're just grateful for what you have, okay? Um, you're content. Uh, you're okay just knowing that you represent the divine. We don't really care about material things. Like, we understand that the material things that are, matter are in here, okay? And a lot of people will say, well, that's because you don't have anything. If that is what you think, then cool. Like, I, you're not changing the way that I feel either way, okay? Nothing that these people say or nothing that these people look at you as matters. I mean, for me, it doesn't. So, but there are also a lot of people are greedy right now. A lot of people's greed is what's putting them in the situations that they're in right now. They were warned. Okay. They were warned because we were sent as messengers and we're all over the place. So people understood what was going on, but they thought that they were exempt from this shit. Okay. Let's see. What else? What else do we need to know? It's just nine of cups here. Hmm. Yeah, tower moments. So there could be a Scorpio in particular here. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, that is maybe learning a valuable lesson about putting financial gain over uh, protecting themselves or over people's well-being or their own well-being. It could be their own well-being. This has been coming up a lot about a specific Scorpio with the Nine of Cups that has been drinking a lot. I feel like another way that I'm looking at this is like, hold on. I feel like you're just like grateful for these tower moments um, because these tower moments, if you look at it a certain way, okay, especially if you're a divine masculine, I feel like you're looking at these tower moments from a different perspective, right? It's almost like, well, before I would say like, why is this happening to me? And now you're like, if this is happening and something's blowing up in my life, then maybe it's because I have to make changes. Maybe it's something I need to let go of. Maybe there's a reason for everything, right? Because that's what I believe. There's a reason for everything, everything that happens in our life. So, but there is a masculine energy. It could be an Aries or a Scorpio that's drinking a lot or doing a lot of drugs or what's this? Yeah. What's happening here? So 
somebody was, uh, I feel like somebody, let me see, somebody acts like they're okay, but they really need help here. Because, you know, this says everything is fine at the bottom, but look at all the swords and shit. Somebody uh, is very good at acting like they're okay, yeah, but they're in this energy here. Now we have Capricorn. We have Capricorn, Aries energy, and Scorpio energy here. So, unfortunately, I feel like these are the shadow attributes of this guide card, where it's like people who place financial gain over anything else are having tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. And it's because they're chained to this one, their love of money. This is like a huge thing that's happening right now on the planet is that people, wherever, let's, let's say this, wherever somebody put, whatever they put over somebody's well-being, whether it was a, a mother trying to keep their children so close to them that they manipulated shit to make them feel bad so they wouldn't leave home, they will wind up being alone, okay? If, um, if you put money over somebody else's life or well-being, your money will be stripped, okay? This is just the way it goes. Um, I had, You know how I know is because I went through this shit. I told you I was putting other things above my son, drugs for one, okay? So I had to get sober. I had to sacrifice my own child um, in order to understand that like you can't have the best of both worlds. It's like whatever you didn't appreciate in your life, right? I can admit that I did this shit, you know, and people in my life like parents and stuff, they can't admit that they did this shit. It's really difficult for narcissists to admit it, um, but it's out. And I feel like people are realizing that they got backstabbed and betrayed by the same devil uh, that they thought was going to ride with them and shit. Look, these people are like, I mean, are you surprised that these two are together? I don't understand. Let's go down and check out this show. I feel like a lot of you are just watching the show. Like you're watching from the sidelines with your popcorn and yeah, this toxic, these toxic lovers here. Okay. Somebody got backstabbed and betrayed by somebody they were in a relationship with. All right. Now we have Gemini, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Aries. But this is just like, um, this could be siblings too. Uh, some of your siblings, uh, there could, this could be a whole new wave of people uh, realizing that they were backstabbed and betrayed by family and friends. Some of us are like, oh, we've been on that train for a while. It's like, well, uh, tell me who didn't backstab and betray me. And that would be like, you know, uh, a shorter list. Yeah, hateful, hateful. If you have a solid relationship with somebody, people are so pissed off that you guys are respectful towards each other, that you're loyal to each other. I feel like when you guys go through these tower moments, all right, you're supposed to be leading by example, though. These people don't understand the reason they can't destroy a solid relationship right now is because God said, first of all, I think the fuck not, okay? But other than that, it's supposed to be leading by example and showing people what real uh, solid bond is supposed to be like, okay? There's no cheating. There's no lying. There's no stealing. There's none of this. And there has to be no substance abuse for this to happen because it is inevitable that if you have addictions, okay, in your relationship, whether it's one or both, it doesn't matter. Uh, this betrayal will come eventually, okay? Because those addictions always, always outnumber the loyalty. And I feel like you guys have had to learn all of this and there's other people here who don't quite understand because they didn't go through the trenches sober. They didn't help each other get sober. They probably got together sober and a lot of these people helped each other go down the hole of addiction, okay? But when you guys go through these tower moments, you go through them together, all right? It's a together thing. You guys help each other out. You help balance each other out. These people are pissed off because it's like their relationship is bound by addiction. You know how I know the difference is because I had one bound by addiction. I've had many bound by this one. Now I have one bound by love and it's crazy. And these people are so jealous and it's like, my gosh, it's, I wish there was just a cleaner that we could spray on motherfuckers and just sings a song, sounds like she's singing. Edge of 17. So a lot of you are like, nothing else matters except for my faith in myself, my faith in my creator, 
uh, my spirituality, keeping myself protected, clearing my energy, keeping myself as healthy as possible, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Let's see. Night. Yeah, you, you have someone that's loyal in your life. Do you know how many people right now you guys may not even realize? Because you've been in this energy of like, if you have a solid relationship and it's like, well, this is just what we have now, right? So you think everybody has this. Do you know how many marriages and relationships are getting torn apart right now? Because people are seeing the masks fall off in these people that they've been with. Some people have been with these people for 50 fucking years now. And people are like, what, what are you talking about? What do you mean that uh, uh, you have murders under your belt? What do you mean that you have some secret addiction? What do you mean that you've been with prostitutes? There's just a lot of shit coming out about people, okay? One big mask on this whole planet, I feel like. Tell me about this night. Yeah, look. You have a very, very... Someone, whoever this is for, your relationship is like the prototype. And I, But I feel like you guys have had to go through a lot of betrayal of other people. You've had to go through a lot of ups and downs. Probably more downs than ups, okay? 11-11. But I feel like people are like pissed off about this. I mean, and maybe you're realizing this is just, been, yeah, I feel like you guys are very protective of your relationship. You don't go out. You don't talk to a lot of people. I don't feel like either one of you have a social media account, like a Facebook account or anything like that, or this is what you need to, to, to do. Um, I feel like people are pissed off because my dude don't do Facebook or Instagram or nothing. Okay. <laughs> Um, so when they were trying to like set up shit to make it look like he was cheating or they couldn't do the shit that they normally do, these narcissists, they couldn't put fake messages and, and act like, uh, cause this dingbat that I, I dealt with at that trap house, like he tried doing this to a, a friend of his that I was dating and they created fake messengers and shit and it worked cause I broke up with them and then he went and got locked up, but he was no good for me anyway. So they actually did me a solid, this is where they get destroyed. That motherfucker was no good. He's dead. He, he actually got out of jail and tried to, um, to uh, reach out to me and that was a test from the universe and uh, I didn't reach out to him and like two months three months later he passed away he's one of the four that I told you that passed away but um this dude his supposed friend made up these messages and took screenshots and orchestrated this whole thing to make it look like he was cheating on me but he did me a favor though because I wound up meeting Brian um, after that. So he actually helped me get away from that dude. You see how this shit works? You know, he was trying to destroy it. He was trying to, to come in between us. And it's like, thank you for doing that. But he did it because he liked me. Uh, and he never said that, but now it's, it's quite obvious that he did. Right. So he tried to destroy my relationship with his friend because he liked me. And all it did was he helped me out. He got me away from that dude, but then somebody better came in and then he tried to destroy that and he couldn't. You can't destroy uh, a solid relationship. Not when two people understand how they maneuver. We both understand how these people work and we laugh shit off now. And this, I guess, yeah. I mean, it's like a childlike relationship. It's very innocent, okay? Um, you may need to protect yourself in this relationship from someone from your past that may want to come in. Because uh, the shadow attribute of this is like destructive rulership for uh, this um destructive ruler or principle so there may be somebody here that's trying to break you up with somebody so be be careful somebody from your past may want to come reconcile with you that you you already um closed a chapter with okay yeah somebody that you rejected you rejected somebody in the past somebody may have uh Maybe this is why you're protecting your relationship because you understand that people from your past, everything that's happening right now, all this awakening, all this exposure, all the masks coming off, all people who were no good, the chosen ones, getting all their karma and shit, even people who did you dirty in middle school. There's a lot of people from your past here who uh, either rejected you. I feel like this is saying people from your past who may have rejected you chosen one because they thought they were getting something better. Whatever relationship they're in right now, it ain't working. So be careful of somebody trying to come back now if they cheated on you or lied on you or stole from you or just didn't appreciate you, okay? I feel like a lot of you got younger looking. You're more beautiful than you were before. Yeah, look, yes. And people are like, um, damn, man, I should have, could have, would have. Well, we're not being rude and we're not like this. Well, sometimes. But I feel like people are just like, um, they're, they regret not being loyal to you with the night loyalty romance chivalry love of honor they know that you were loyal sweet dreams all made of these right you were somebody's dream girl or dream boy divine feminine divine masculine look did i tell you 
It's people that you were in relationships with in the past that rejected you, okay? They regret it. I feel like some of them may want to come around and, and make make up with you or reconcile or something because the person that they tried to make you jealous for, if you know that you were with narcissists and these people didn't see the great in you until after you were gone, right? Now all of a sudden they tried to make you jealous with somebody else because that's how they work. And it doesn't work because empaths don't get jealous. We're like, okay, well, whatever. We just keep moving, right? It didn't work. Now they're realizing who they're really with, right? And they're like, Moon card, yeah. Secrets are coming out. You could be dealing with a Pisces or you are a Pisces and somebody wants to come back. Um, but I feel like this is somebody you had a relationship with in the past and it was probably a tumultuous relationship with the moon card and the lovers and shit. Yeah, you were in a relationship with or you were married to this person in the past. I feel like somebody's going to try and reconcile with you because uh, especially if it's an opportunist, if it's a narcissist, right? It's like, damn, my shit didn't work. This person, they get jealous. They're actually better. Like somebody here, if you were like on drugs or you were down and out and somebody left you and went to go with someone else for opportunity, because that's what they'll do. They'll go be with somebody or marry somebody really quick because they have a home or their parents have money or there's something in it for them. We all know how they get down at this point, right? 16, 16. Now they see you and God's like, <laughs> this one's going to age horribly. This one's going to be lazy. This one's going to drive you crazy. This one, though, you rejected because you thought you were better than this motherfucker. I'm going to build up. They're going to Benjamin Button on your ass. I'm going to make them famous and I'm going to make them rich. But I want to make sure that they I tested them enough so that when you come back, they're like, look, I don't mean to be rude, but like you snooze, you lose, partner. That's what's happening here. All right. There's a lot of some of them want to abuse you. Be careful of somebody coming back. And... um. Some of these people actually did put their hands on you, you guys. Some of these exes of yours actually put their hands on you or verbally abused you. Just remember this, okay? Because these uh, narcissists are really good with their fucking word salad, okay? But uh, we don't eat that kind of salad anymore, right? But you eat this fist. You're going to be traveling the world. Travel the world and the seven seas. The hermit. Let's see what's up with the hermit now, huh? I feel like somebody, people are sitting themselves going, I can't believe I married this one. I can't believe I moved in with, with this one. Oh my God, I can't believe this because now I'm watching this other person or I don't know if somebody's seen you out or they've seen you on your social media or if you have a, a channel or a platform, but people are like, there, there's heavy regret. And this is how God gets down, okay? Yeah. Somebody's realizing that like, uh, you were the love of their life. You were the sweetheart. You are so loyal. I feel like, but you're just like this. I don't give a shit. I'm okay with being by myself because I love my damn self. A lot of you had to be forced into hermit mode so that you could love yourself more than you were loving these other people because it's like as empaths, that is one of our biggest downfalls. Yeah. We loved everybody else, but we didn't love ourselves enough. And God's like, yeah, no, 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 no. I can't have that anymore. I can't have it anymore because these people sense this and then they use you and they abuse you and they take advantage of you. They don't appreciate you. I can't have it no more. You know? What's this Knight of Cups? There's definitely a water sign, though. Somebody drinks to themselves. Yeah, look, somebody's just Capricorn energy, but I feel like there's somebody here in devilish energy that sits, sits to themselves and they drink. This has been coming out a lot where people's alcoholism has gotten worse because of the loss of an empress or an emperor, okay? Emotional distress, I just heard. The court reaches a decision. So somebody's sitting there alone waiting for the court to reach a decision. There's somebody here who fuck with you who's in this, who's obsessively drinking in hermit mode. And I feel like they're nervous because they're waiting for some kind of verdict. This could be happening right now, actually. Somebody could actually be waiting for a verdict right now. Someone that you were dealing with or some of you. Yeah, look at this. Somebody's in court right now, I feel like, waiting for a verdict. And this may actually be... Wow. Holy shit. All right, let's see. Wait. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, I feel like they're waiting for a message or they're waiting for an answer or there's some kind of news that came out. Time stood still. I feel like this, this person's world stopped. I just heard time stood still. I feel like somebody's literally anticipating being sentenced here. King of yeah, I feel like they're waiting for a judge. Yo, this is crazy. Is this happening for you guys right now? Is somebody like um in court currently and they're waiting to be sentenced? 
for something heavy here? What are they in court for? Look, truth. Oh, shit. What are they being sentenced for? What, did, what was this about? Grab your things, I've come to take you home. Is this your son? Uh, this could be like a uh, spousal support. If this is about a relationship or a marriage, something that somebody may have found on a computer. This could have been that thing where they were doing work from home or some kind of shady business or shit, some shit like this. So this could be, it could be something with this page of wands about them watching kids. Somebody could have been caught watching porn or child porn or something like that. But there's something where this person is humiliated and they're waiting to get uh, a, um, that's in a rut. Somebody's in a rut. Which connection I should cut? This person should have cut off whoever this was. I feel like somebody ratted them out or testified against somebody. This could be child support with the Ace of Pentacles. This could have something to do with somebody, like, uh, I don't know, being an opportunist here. Somebody could actually be getting sued for, for stealing or, or being like um, a womanizer. This could be a Libra here. A Libra could be going through this or a Capricorn. I feel like this has something to do with some kind of opportunist and somebody got caught or somebody found some shit out or, uh, wow. Yeah, what they did for work. This is their job. I feel like somebody this somebody is being labeled as an opportunist here, but I feel like something went deeper. Something's in court here with this person. The whole neighborhood, I feel like, didn't know about this. And somebody, but if this is somebody that came for you or said some shit about you, then this is the way this energy. Look, Libra, something's happening with a Libra here that, that some of you know. All right. And uh, kidnap. Wow. These people may be going to court because they attempted to kidnap you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Somebody may have court case here. They're being watched. Somebody knows they're being watched. And I feel like they're nervous. I feel like somebody's finally put it together that they're being watched by the feds, that they're being watched by investigators. They may not have believed you if you told them 22, 22 in the beginning, but I feel like they're starting to understand that they're being watched. I don't know if their uh, phone and they can tell their phone's acting up. They started a smear campaign against you and this is how they got themselves watched. Be careful what the fuck you say about people. You start a smear campaign, you bring attention to yourself, you bring attention to that person, now you're being watched. Some of these people hired investigators to watch you because they swore that you were just like them because narcissists think everybody's fucking cruddy like them and these people wind up getting watched themselves and they didn't find nothing on you. This is how God gets down. I told you, don't underestimate this shit, man. Do not come for a chosen one. You will never win coming for a chosen one. Yeah, they blamed you for some shit. So I feel like they got investigated, right? Smear campaign, being watched. They wanted you to be watched. Congratulations. Now you're being watched. These people are humiliated. Yeah, you're the greatest of all time. That's what these fucking investigators found out, right? They blamed you and you're the goat because they know that you're great. So they're like, I don't, I'm not great. You could be great. My milkshake brings on a boy instead of yawn. It was 23, 23 when I said that, right? What's this? Yeah, they blamed you because they're fucking going backwards. Look at this. They blamed you because they're going backwards in life. Huh? Huh? They blamed you because they're going backwards. So they started a smear campaign. They started telling lies about you because they're punks and they're weak. Okay? They're weak. Bounty, I just heard. You know what that means, yeah? They're pissed off because you keep growing and leveling up and you're actually who you say you are. And when they hired these investigators to look at you, uh, all they did was, was expose themselves because you have, you're an open book. This is all divinely guided by higher power. God probably waited, all right? It's, it's divinely guided. So God's like, well, let me work on this one, right? They're going to get sober. They're going to better themselves. So when these dingbats hire an investigator, they're going to be like, what are you talking about? This person doesn't even be able to move. But you, on the other hand... You, on the other hand, look, no accountability. These people refuse to take accountability for where they are in life. They keep blaming somebody else, okay? April 24th could be relevant to somebody. Could be a Taurus or someone's birthday. An uncle could be April 24th. Look. 
They think they're the greatest of all time. That's what happened. These people, they don't take any accountability. They think they're the greatest thing since fucking sliced bread, okay? Cool. And if that's what you think, cool. But keep that in your world and, and, and keep that over there. But don't interfere with my actual greatness here, okay? And try to diminish my actual greatness because of your make-believe greatness, okay? What's up? They're jealous. Look, they're jealous because you're the goat. This shit's crazy. What you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you don't give up. In my world, only you make me do for love what I would not do. This person actually loves you, but the shit that they did to, to show that they loved you is fucking just, it's, 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 outrageous i feel like look there they are going backwards again whatever this jealousy envy because this is an energy too like this jealousy and envy energy that they were trying to project onto you this narcissist card i just saw is going backwards they have options they had options i just heard they had options just like you did and they chose look, innocent they keep playing innocent but guess who was seen as actually innocent in this situation and people are seeing this. I told you, man, be patient because this shit always comes out. Some of you are like, why isn't this coming out? Why, why is my name not getting redeemed? Believe me, it's happening right now for some of you. I promise you, okay? 26, 26. Somebody that had a silver car is innocent. If you have a silver car or they were playing in mommy issues, yeah. This is the root of a lot of the shit that happens with these people with mental illness is they have mommy issues, you know? This is why it's so important to heal from this childhood wounding shit because we have to, we admit that we had childhood wounds. We admit that some of our parents didn't really know they did the best that they could, right? They did what their parents did. This is how it becomes a curse, right? Well, this is, must be what I do because this is how my parents raised me and this is what they did. So now that's got to stop. But at some point, you become a big kid now and you're like, at some point in my life, if I was wiping my own ass and I was going to buy my own drugs and I was a big boy that I could go into the liquor store and get my bottles of Jack and Henny, I have to admit the fact that these were my decisions at some point, okay? I feel like your mind's blown or somebody's mind is blown, I'm hearing. Somebody's mind blown. I feel like this is comical to you. Like a lot of you, like it's comical. Like you have to look at it from a comical standpoint. If you're not, if you're not laughing, you're crying, right? We're not crying anymore. You can, I mean, purge that shit out, but it's like, we don't stay in that energy of like boo-hoo me and it doesn't work for anybody. Victory and success. Ha! Hear the horn? Ha! And somebody's very conflicted over the fact that you're successful. 62 could be relevant or 26. You could be 26 or... Somebody's going to win sweepstakes here. Somebody's going to win a sweepstakes or they're destined for to win a lottery or sweepstakes or the hit at the casino or something. Somebody's life is going to change overnight here. And this is what they destined. They were destined to come here and do and just live a great life. Heart chakra. And somebody's all up in their feels, you know. The reason that you're very successful and you're not in mental conflict is because you had to heal your heart chakra. You had to actually have compassion. This person doesn't have comp compassion. And this is why they're still in this energy. They need to heal their heart. They need to have a, a pure heart. So I said, God don't care if you fucking curse. He doesn't care even if you do drugs. God doesn't care if you prostitute, whatever. He cares what's in here, what your spirit is, what your heart is, how you view others. Are you kind to others? You can go literally suck a dick on Friday and volunteer on Saturday. God doesn't judge like that. These people got God all twisted. I promise you. God don't care if you, if you drop F-bombs. He don't care if you have addictions. He wants you to be imperfect. That's, that has nothing to do with God. All right? But how are you to people, even when you're down and out? Are you still good to people? Do you still want to give back? Do you try to purposely destroy people? Hmm? Are you a piece of shit like that? You don't care about your flaws. People really got God twisted. Indeed is on. King. So let's find out more about this supposed king here. Tell me more about this king, please. Excessive feelings of entitlement. Yeah, father, there's that look, king and father. This could be you. This could be this could be God, all right? Let's find out. Let, let's let's clarify this, okay?
somebody may just stop by. Uh, there may be a masculine energy. This could be your father or a father of your kids that may just stop by out of nowhere. Let's see. What is this king and father? Somebody may be stopping by because they're out of meds. I don't know. I just picked up with somebody may be stopping by, but their, their MO is the fact that you may have prescription medication, so be careful. Yeah, there's somebody knows what's coming. Somebody can feel something coming. It's just masculine energy, king and the father. This is this abusive type men. These abusive men who feel like they're the fucking king and women are below them. That's how we feel about that, okay? We're not in those times anymore, bro. Wake the fuck up. Shit's changing. Women are taking over whether you fucking like it or not. Yeah, look, because some people know about a death. Somebody knows something's coming because people know there's some secret about a death with this masculine energy. It could be a father. It could have been the death of a father. Scorpio, Pisces energy here. Somebody accidentally hit the delete key. So I feel like somebody was trying to delete things or maybe they needed something and somebody accidentally deleted something that they needed. They may have been trying to, yeah, somebody's fighting about this. There's some kind of fighting happening about the death of somebody because the secret's out now. Yeah, somebody accidentally hit the delete key. So somebody like, um, either they said they accidentally did it. There's something here that got deleted. I think that somebody was using against somebody and maybe that's just how God gets down where somebody was... Uh, frustrated or mentally confused okay and somebody yeah look they're being investigated like somebody's in hermit mode somebody's somebody knows that people know about a death here where do they stop there do they tell me to draw the line somebody had to draw the line here with some shit like that yeah people are broken hearted there's something about a death of a father here or a masculine energy that's out and uh clarify this hermit somebody's just sitting there like with a broken heart Queen of Wands. Yeah. There's something with this um with this this karmic female here, man. I'll do anything that you want me to. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. So this is a karmic either water sign or fire sign, but I feel like somebody's realizing uh that somebody was under a spell here, like I'll do anything that you want me to. So there's a dude here, I feel like, who's going to try using the fact that he was under magic for the fact that why he had something to do with his father dying. It was 3232 when I said that. There's somebody here who's going to use the excuse that they were under magic. And they're going to sit there and say, because I feel like something's out that they had something to do with their own father's death here or a masculine energy's death. And they're going to try and use this queen of wands. I just had a notification. And it's Abracadabra. Yo, it's the Astro Queen's one. And it's titled Abracadabra as I'm saying this right now. Somebody's going to lie and say, or they're going to say, I was under magic and she was feeding me this or she was feeding me that. I didn't realize what I was doing. That ain't going to fly, bro. That ain't going to fly. I feel like it's fitting to get a demon card at this point, okay? I can't go for that. Yeah, the judge is going to be like, I can't go for that. It's on uh, I can't go for that. Can't go for that. Yeah, the judge is gonna be like, uh, I, I can't. I mean, that, that's that's like somebody pleading insanity anymore. You know, uh, it's worn out. It's old. It's old news. I just, I just can't do it, Captain. Alistair. Ooh, these messages are something, huh? Beware of vengeful actions. Take care not to let justice bleed into cruelty for the sake of anger. So somebody realizes, like, this was vengeful what you did. This has nothing to do with fucking magic, okay? Don't even try it. It has nothing to do with some magic, all right? Let's find... Let's... I can't go for that. Yeah, somebody tried using this in court, I feel like, saying that they were under magic because of the death of a masculine energy, and I feel like it's coming out now, or the, the jury, or or the judge is like, yeah, that's not going to fly. You're going to have to come up. No can do. <laughs> No can do. Like, you can't. You can't use that as an excuse for, for killing. Look, for killing somebody. Death. Somebody killed somebody here, and they're trying to use the excuse of being under magic. Yeah, they know it's coming. They know that something's coming because of the death of somebody. Yes. And they're in hermit mode, and they're embarrassed, and they're hiding. Yeah, because they know something's coming from God. They know that something's coming from God here. Taurus and Scorpio energy here. These people could both know. 
or or maybe it's a Taurus that made people aware of this. Maybe there's a Taurus here that made people aware about the death of somebody, exposed it. People also, I mean, could be just looking at uh, God from a new perspective. Miracles, I just heard miracles. No, I won't back down. Yeah. Heavy Scorpio here, all right? There's tower too and judgment, but they understand, they are aware. Look, they are enlightened about a death and they know that God is bringing fucking judgment. You can stand me up at the gates of hell. Somebody here is not afraid of hell. They're not afraid of demons. They're not afraid of darkness. They're like, damn, I, yeah, they're like, bitch, I'll rip the gates off of hell, motherfucker. Guess who that is? This bitch right here. I keep this world from dragging me down. Ain't nobody dragging us down, okay? Whoa, back down. Yeah, no one's dragging us down. Uh, bitch, we dying in hell, okay? <laughs> when we want our tea super hot, where do we go? Cafe hell, that's where we go. No one here is afraid of dark energy or demons or demonic forces. Or We actually embrace darkness. This is a dark empath, a dark Hayoka. Uh, meet us, get to know us, because we're going to be your biggest adversary, okay? But if you would have been on our good side, we could have been your best friend and helped you through this. We were the blessing in your lives. Places financial gain over controlling, imparting insight, right? This is my Dirty Deeds card. This is my Hitman card. I feel like there's a Hitman here that's seeing you. Uh, they know that they're, you're too strong for them. There's a Hitman here who's like, oh, whatever this dude is, he's like, he... He knows that he can't get you. Somebody's realizing that they hired a hitman to go against a divine being. Represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. This is also you standing your ground too. Let's see what this athlete... Okay. It's like, what do you, you think I'm going to back down because you sent a hitman to me, bitch? Like I eat these bitches for breakfast. Yeah, somebody paid somebody. This is the king of pentacles. Somebody paid somebody. Yeah, to do this to an empress. Somebody paid, King of Pentacles, could be uh, an earth sign or just paid somebody money uh, to, to hire a hitman to go against an empress. Justice, the cops know. Justice. Libra empress, Taurus empress, or just an empress, okay? But just know with the justice here, something's happening with the justice system and they know. What up? Yes. The cops know, the justice system knows. This is how we take these people down one by one. Because you're too smart. You're five steps ahead of them. You're psychic. You get downloads. And these people get themselves caught up. They get locked up. And we just keep doing this over and over again. And just know this is part of your purpose, you guys. You're going to be placed in situations where you're going to be exposing people. And you're going to be bringing them down. And this is what you signed up for. Okay? Yeah. Leo energy. Where this is just you being a strong motherfucker. All right, you just that motherfucker, and people completely underestimated you. Call me. Yep, you you thrive. You're you're strong. Listen, look, you got you got Pisces, uh, Leo, Libra, Taurus, and Libra heavy. Okay, but look at this shit. Talk to me about being comfortable in the dark. I feel like sometimes your stronger side is your darker side. It depends on what, what is coming for you and who's coming for you, you guys, right? Call me. You answered the call. Call me. God's like, yeah, uh, uh, Empress, Emperor, I'm going to need you to fuck up some principalities for me. And you were like, it's what I do. This is what I do. I'll do it gladly because I love you because I love my creator. And, and you know that this is your job. I'll never get enough. It's like you can't get enough of it. <sighs> yeah. Hey, call me. What what do you need? What do you need? Oh, you need me to you need me to expose some darkness, right? You need me to get some people caught up because they think they can kill some people. What's up? Call me. Absolutely. First name N to Z. This could be you. Who took the call here? Or, or this is your sociopath. Their name begins with N to Z. Their first name. Okay.
Anytime, any place, anywhere, anytime. Hired an investigator. Isn't it funny when a sociopath hires an investigator only to only to get themselves exposed? Yeah, this is the dingbat that flattened your tires and thought that they were going to get away with it. So the investigator probably found out this is how they get themselves caught up. I'm going to hire an investigator. While this person's investigating you, they fucking see somebody flattening your tires here. Yeah, somebody with a white car, a male with a white car, flattened your tires here. Or this was your car. But that's how stupid these people are. Let me hire an investigator, but... I don't think because I'm being taken over by shit and they're telling me, you can do this. We got your back. You know, they think that they have the same kind of protection that you have from God, but with the dark one. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like, yeah, go flatten the tires. I'll be here in the lookout. Meanwhile, my fucker turns around. There's nobody there. You thought the darkness was going to have your back like that, bro. So now you hired an investigator, right? And but while this person's investigating, because you didn't know they were going to show up on this day, they fucking see you coming out and yeah. <laughs> flattening somebody's tires but you have the investigator you hired watching you flatten this person's tires <clears throat> i can't compete with this you guys it's a losing battle we tried to warn you you tried to destroy us we were star seeds you forgot i love you guys we're not going nowhere